Yo, 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 Miss Vixen has. Hey guys, I am Miss Max. And today, guys, I'm going to talk about what my relationship turned on and what I like in a relationship. On well, number one is being feisty. Yeah, I like feisty. Holding hands in public and private, just holding hands, just like shows it off that that's your guy. They're yours. Nobody else can have them. Protective. When a guy's like, they're all protective area, I don't love it. Depends when like, a guy goes and like, says stuff about you and you're just like, blue with them like that. They, your guy goes and like, just protects you over it. And when you're like, getting bullied, your guy protects you. Yeah, and tries to cheer you up and everything. Oh, I love that. Love notes. I think they're so sweet. Little love notes is just so adorable. Like, it shows how much they love you. They put it down in words on a bit of paper. It's something that you can keep. You can show it off on your wall. Do whatever you want with it. It's just so sweet and cute. Will be love notes. Cute taxis. And you're just like not expecting it and you're just like sitting around and wondering is he going to text me, is he going to call me, I'm bored. And all of a sudden you get this super cute little text come up on your phone and like, aww. Even if it's on Facebook or whatever, it's just so cute. And kisses at the end of the text and notes, just showing those wee kisses. Makes you feel, it makes me feel all fuzzy when I just get the wee kisses and it's like showing how much he loves me now. Kisses on the forehead in public and private. Just that wee kiss on the head and just like smaller them and they just like kiss your forehead and you're like, oh. Makes me feel all fuzzy as well. Um, wanting to spend time with me for the first time. I can I don't really like that. Ken, some folks like, oh, just leave me alone, I just want to be my own. But I really like it when your guy wants to spend all their time with you. Nobody else, just you. And spend all their time with you. Do whatever they want with you. Whether if it's playing a video game with you or sitting around watching telly or whatever. Just want to spend time with you. It's really cute. Kisses on the lips, private and public. I really like that as well. Just that little smooch. <laughs> like, oh, the little makes you all bubbly. Picking me up in public and private. I like to be picked up. Just on the ground and it's fun. Movie time together with cuddles. We all like that just to cuddle up, watch a movie, we munchies, we your man. It's romantic to me. Very um, much. I want to spend time with you alone. Mm. I really like spending time with my man alone. Like, just me and him. And being goofy or playing a video game or cuddling up or just <laughs> even taking a wee nap. I really like that. Showing off that I'm his girl in public and private. I like I like that. I was like, this is my girl. I don't want anybody else other than them. Mine and mine only. I like that. Spoiling me rotten in public and private. I think that's really cute when your man just wants to spend every time in school on you, taking you out on places, buying you stuff, getting you presents. I just think that's really cute. And you don't even think to think about you. Because sometimes, so I just think that. Like, 
don't get up at me Let's see I went out thoughts for me if you don't remember me mm, I have any needs I think about that Wouldn't it be a dirty one? <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm bad guy. But, in just like, mmm. <laughs> Surprises in public and privately. You know what you think of that? And like the Giga Spice Kiss, or the Giga Spice Cuddle, or the Giga Spice Gift. You can even think about it. They just like surprise you with it. I really like that. Even if it's a wee day out, and you're not even thinking, what today? What should I do today? And you're just like, I'm taking it. <laughs> I really like that. Calling the cute nicknames in public taxis, phone calls, etc. Calling me that me cute name. Oh, if it's like honey bunch or sexy or baby, like oh, and treat me like he's queen in public and private. Every girl likes to be treated like a queen, even if it's a princess. Every girl likes it. Like, come on. If you have a girlfriend, treat her like a queen, cause she's. The one for you. She's the one that's giving you kisses and cut up and things about you 24 7. Do you not like your queen? Just gonna make even better. Being goofy and silly with me in public and private. I <laughs> remember that. And <laughs> remember the funny times with Chris Play 1234. Like, if you've ever, if you kind of placed Alwa, that's in Clipmanshire and we were outside Argos at Christmas and he, he jumps on this ball and he lands on his feet and then all of a sudden he just like walks and slips and nobody expects that that's just that was funny really silly things like that like in my mind it just makes me smile it was, it was funny, and it was goofy, and it was silly, and I really liked it, because it made me laugh. I was like, oh, and then when I just get to laugh, I was like, I am just like brushing it off. It was really funny. I really like being goofy and silly with me. Cuddles when I'm crying. Like, every girl likes that. When you're like upset and you're just like greeting your nose too. And they're just like, come along, get your cuddle. Or they tell you to say, come here. And you cuddle into them and you end up crying on the shoulder. That's what you sh should both do. If you're man crying, then you judge him for it. Because at the end of the day, he is human. Every human cries. So if your man's crying, just, like, give him a cuddle. Try and help him, because I think some guys just are like, I'm not going to agree, I'm a man. Like, who cares? I am a man, but every human cries. So, if you're a guy, if you're a lassie, give your partner a cuddle. And try and cheer them up. Because at the end of the day, every human cries. Even if it's a lass, even if it's a boy, they both need cuddles when you are crying. When you're crying your eyes out, you both need cuddles. You both need to try and cheer each other up. It doesn't make, any, it doesn't make you less of a man if you're a man. And it doesn't make you any less of a woman if a human cries. Trying to, trying to cheer me up when I'm crying. I like that as well, guys. Because showing cuddles and trying to cheer you up shows that you care. Shows that you care for your other half. 
and that's what you need to do when with each other when you said book to you. Try and cheer each other up, try and get each other cuddles. Help each other and care for each other. Being touchy feely. Yeah, that's pretty and I wanna spend time. I really like that. <laughs> Dancing with me in public and in private. Even if there's music, even when there's no, just dancing the other half shows off oh, that they're yours. Like me and Chris by 1234, we have our own little song, and that's Hero by Enrique Inglés. And we're thinking that ought to be our first dance song when we get married, guys. So, yeah, we've picked our song. <laughs> Um, being cute. Everybody likes it. They just like be cute, are you? Like you, you man on your lassie. Being cute. <laughs> it's really sweet. Makes you fuzzy. Putting my head on your shoulder. I remember, guys, when me and Chris Boy one three four were just friends. And I was just like putting up and thinking about putting up with my boyfriend at the end. And um, but he was like really sweet and funny and everything. And um, I fell for Chris by once before. And very space, space sat in the car. And I was just like. <laughs> And put my head on your shoulder, like, yeah, put my head on your shoulder. <laughs> and then we've got our other wee thing where we go walking <laughs> and talking with side skips. And then we went to the main street where he stayed. And we sat outside this place called Mojo's, it's Barber's, on, on a wall. And he made me these feelings to me. I really like that guy. Having study dates together in a camp car, in a way. <laughs> and just like when if you're like in the same class or in your same course at college, you know, you just like you need to study for this exam or you need to study for this assessment. Like having these study dates, cute, you can get a bit naughty. And you are still studying. So, yeah, I'm guys. Playing silly games together. Like, being goofy, playing silly games like Truff or Dave or Spin the Ball. Oh. Just be silly games. Understanding your disabilities and mental health and helps you with it. And they, and they try. That, that means a lot to the other person. If you're, if you're difficult with disabilities, got mental health issues, and you're trying to help them with it, trying to understand it, trying to get them through it, that really helps them and shows that you care. Going on holidays together. I think that's really cute and it's just to spend time with each other. And you can have like romantic memories and you can have romantic pictures. Have a real romantic time together, even if like you're with your parents. You can just say, I want to spend time with him on my own, or I want to spend time with her on my own. So you guys can just do cooking for you. Well, I remember when Chris by 1, 2, 3, 4 was. In his cl cooking class, and he made chili con carne. And I'm not really a fan of spicy food. Sometimes you can, guys. The chili con carne can be spicy. But it wasn't really spicy. And I tried it, and I really liked it. And <laughs> I keep pestering them to make it for me again because it was that good. 
It wasn't even spicy, guys. Nah, he's spicy. Go and shop him with you. Oh, every girl is. And you're like, go and shop him, go shop him. And just like, I want this, I want that. And you get it, and you're like, one carry in the bag. And then your guy takes it off you and carries it for you. I think that's really cute. And the guy carries your stuff for you. Taking cute silly pics of you. Like you can guys on Snapchat, you've got these like wee followers, even on Facebook you've got these big followers and just just to take these silly pictures together. The the followers. <laughs> it's fun. And cute. <laughs> and get away, keep me on my hands. And take takes you places. Mm, you go to the job. And you get just like takes you places, takes you to the cinema, takes you out for dinner, takes you bowling, whatever it is. You go to enjoy that. And your man's treating you like that. It's cute and fuzzy feeling and shows that you'll get to love. Taking you shopping. I like that as well, guys. Like, you and like, I've not got enough money. And he's like, I'll get you that. I'll get you that. Like, oh, really? Like, that's really cute. They're spending money on you. So how much they care about you and how much they love you. Doing cute content with you. Well, I'm a YouTuber, obviously, guys, as you watch me. And Chris Boy1234, he's a YouTuber. He's a gamer, YouTube gamer as well. And when he gets you, when you get someone involved in his content, I really like him. Like, I get like embarrassed when I'm like, no. But actually, I really enjoy it. It's like it's showing the world that I'm that girl. And doing goofy content like being silly on YouTube, no, I don't really do that, but I would like it. Staying at each other's I like that as well, guys. Like when he stays here, we could stay all night, spend time with each other, play Call of Duty, play whatever we want, and then on the same ends bit. Really, that really enjoy spending time with him. Praises, or oh, the wee surprises, wee praises, like and you don't even expect that. And he gives you a wee present, like here you go. Mm. Surprise cute calls. I like that as well, okay. You know what? Why is it phoning me? He never usually phones me. Hello? <laughs> what are you phoning me for? <laughs> Just I like it. I think that's really cute. Cute night night messages. Well, guys, he doesn't really say night night messages to me, but I send like seven or eight night night messages before I go to sleep. Well, maybe like cute poems and that. Cute good morning messages. I sometimes do that, guys. Not every morning, but I sometimes do it, like college morning and that. Or even when I'm on holiday. Or like just cute little messages. Like, good morning, baby. Hope your day's good. Good as good as you are. Hope you're amazing as you are. But he doesn't really do that, guys. Showing you love them all the time. I really know. When you're like showing each other that you love them. It's only you. It's only you. You're all I need. I think that's really cute, guys. Talking for hours on, on over Facebook calls, Pepsi, Snapchat. I think that's really cute, guys. You just like talk for hours and just forget about the time and just just chatting away and just like oh before you know it it's like ten o'clock at night one o'clock in the morning without you even knowing. Supporting you through thick and thin. I really like that guy. Okay. You just want each other with hard times and really thin times. Like, oh, I hate these days, I don't know what to do. And he's like, well, you'll be fine. 
Let's go see. Everyone's gonna be okay. Really. Supporting you through illnesses and choices. When you've made your choices and you want support in that, you like support you through it. And like if you've got illnesses and you're trying to fight it, they support you through it. That that's really good for a relationship. When you're getting support through thick and thin, illnesses and choices, you're getting support all the time. Singing to you, I think that's really cute, guys. It's like, oh. <laughs> You can kind of just see on Crispy One Three Four's channel. He's sung "Hero" you know, to me, our song, <laughs> and so that was really cute. Mm. Telling you that you look beautiful, sexy, stunning, etc. I think that's really nice and cute. It's like, how do I look? You look beautiful. You look sexy. You look stunning. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Telling the friends and family how amazing and beautiful you are. When you hear that, that your mum's like saying to your pals and saying to your family, she's so beautiful, she's so amazing, I think she's so well. I think that's really cute. It's like, oh, he's saying all those nice things. I must really be like that. Forgive and forget in your mistakes, like if you made mistakes in the past, and he's just like, oh, it's okay, that was in the past, the past is in the past, we're all right now, we can get through this. I think that's really good. Dedicating songs that they listen to to you. I think that's really cute, guys. Like, this song's for you, and he's like, this song's for you, this song makes me hang about you. Oh, but if it's a real bad one, you're like, Pfft. why? But when it's a cute song, you're like, oh, so cute. Thank you. Being proud of you. Me, I like to try and make Chris Boy 1234 proud of me. I try my best all the time to get him to be proud of me because I feel like. At times I've disappointed him, that I'm not that good that I should make him proud. I, I'm meant to be his future wife and I'm not thinking I'm proud. I'm like, what? Why am I doing that to him? I should make him proud, not make him be disgusted to me, not make him embarrassed to me. I should try and make him proud. And that's why I keep him. And I'm trying my best in college, I'm trying my best in dancing. I try my best at the dance shows, I'm trying my best on this channel. But just to try and make him proud of me. Because I'm, I'm his future wife, I should do that. I should make him proud to be my future husband. Drawing cute pictures for you. And he's just like doodling away and he makes all these cute little pictures. And I've done that for him, guys, as you can see on his channel and the wall behind him sometimes. That's all the pictures, it's the pictures that I drew. <laughs> and he keeps saying I'm creative and everything. So I know. he ends up putting them on his wall. And I really, I really like it as well when he's like giving you, drawing cute, wee cute pictures. And you keep no no notes in them and I really like that. Wearing a man's clothes. Oh really I okay. When you just like put your coat your jumpers or your fleeces on you. Oh this smells the um like necklace. <laughs> and I have actually got these jam. This is big teddy guys and I'm like looking at this jumper and just um, put it on <laughs> this teddy so I mean so I have like this close before and 
Tell your jokes to make you laugh. Telling your jokes just to make you laugh, or being goofy just to make you laugh. It's like, sh they're trying to tell you that they love your laugh. That they like hearing your laugh. They like seeing you smile. And just to telling your jokes and, and trying to be goofy, just to do that. It shows how much they really like you. They like your laugh, they like your voice, they like your smile. They love everything about you. I'm taking care of you. Well, this is a man and a woman's job to take care of each other. Like, you've got to take care of each other. You've got to look out for each other. So, that is like, um, one really must have in a relationship is to take care of each other. Knowing your ins and outs. That's important, guys. Knowing your ins and outs. Knowing everything about each other is really important in a relationship. Knowing what their likes and what their dislikes are. That's important. Teaching you how to play their game. I think that's really cute. It's like, do I want to get you involved in any thing? I'm not really good at Fortnite yet. But he's better than me and I'm like, I'm trying. I think you yeah, might need to teach me that. And he teaches me ecology, and I've got a really good ecology. <laughs> well, not really good, but average. <laughs> because he taught me how to play. Before I met Chris Bellanti, before, I didn't even know there was a game called ecology. I used to just play Sims all the time. And then when I met, um, and then we started being on the 5th of October, 19 months before my birthday, which is 6th of October. We went, I ended up going to a and I watched some play college, and I watched play college all over the gym. And then I saw, as fire stuff, and I was like, wow, that's cool. What's that stuff? What's that called? And he was like, fire stuff. I'm like, wow, <laughs> I really like that one. And I started calling it Origins Fire Stuff. And then he got me involved in Call of Duty, and he, start, he taught me how to play it. And that's how I play Call of Duty now, guys. And if we ever have a breakup, and I think I'll still play Call of Duty, because that's like me and his game. Then you sit on their lap, cuddle them, lie on, their, lie on them when they're playing games. Yeah, she's like, yeah, just like, I'm not cool with you, but I want to play this game, I want to play this game. I think that's really cute as well, guys. So there's quite a lot of my, my turn-ons in my relationship, and well, I like my relationship, so I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Letting you know about I like in a relationship and what my turn-ons are, and what I like in a relationship. So for now, guys, if you've got any other questions on what I like in a relationship or any questions about me, comment them down below. Leave me a like if you like this, guys, to like it and know, know me a bit more. And also share it and say, let everybody else see. And hopefully, we can build this channel up a bit more. So, thanks for watching, guys. So, as I said, comment down below. On any more questions, if you have any questions about relationships or any questions about what you you like in a relationship and you want to know if I like it, comment that down below if you want to get to know anything else about me, comment that down below, comment whatever you want to ask me guys down below and I'll let you guys know. Thanks well, that's it guys, thank you for watching and peace out. Love you guys.